Manchester City and Pep Guardiola have been caught red-handed. So City are going from the Premier League all the way to League One. But not to worry, guys. Expert Khan is here to take over City and take them all the way to the Premier League glory. And, of course, the Champions League. But it won't be easy. I've got to sell players above the rating of 84. And I've got a lot of money. 215 million to spend in League One. By looking at the team, I think I have to improve here. I've sold all the players above 84. First player is, is Kevin Alvarez, free agent. Paid nothing for him. And also a goalkeeper, Olaf Sun. And managed to sign another youngster called Richard Gleason on a free. First game of the season in League One. Matthias Nunes gets into the starting 11. We are playing Derby County, a team I want to rebuild in the future. Julian Alvarez, he is a starter already, and he is, oh, I thought he's going to score, Daku scores, and City have taken an early lead, 16 minutes into the League One season, and it's Jeremy Daku, what a player, 1-0 to Manchester City, and Grealish almost made it too, oh, he does, that was close, Alvarez, looking for the pass, Kovacic oh, rounds the goalkeeper into the empty net and it is 2 0 to Manchester City. It is easy as you like in League One for Manchester City. 2 0 and only 30 minutes on the clock. 3 1 victory over Derby County. Three points in the first game. And I can tell you, I've got some good players in the Youth Academy, which I'm going to promote. But Manchester United. A chance to play oh, Manchester rivals in the FA Cup at Old Trafford. The biggest of occasions, FA Cup. Round three it is at Old Trafford. The Stratford end is rocking. Foden, is he going to cut back? He does. Alvarez scores. And it is an early goal for Julian Alvarez. Four minutes into the game. And the League One side are a goal up at Old Trafford. As for Foden again. Too easy. Onana beaten. United, Fernandez. Oh, he puts one in. Game on again. We've not even played half an hour. Three goals into the net. 2-1 to City. Half time in Old Trafford. City leading. Not for long. Amrabat. Oh, God. Guardiola's been penalised. And it looks like United are going to get a penalty. Fernandez. 2-2 two, two it is. Ten minutes into the second half. Bruno Fernandes has equalised for Manchester United. And Unal. Who is this guy? Never heard of him. Don't tell me. No. They've taken the lead United. they turned the game on its head. And I think it is the Turkish man number 17 with the gold United going through for sure. And it is a 3-2 victory Old Trafford. An expert can't devastate it after his team being 2-0 up. Comprehensive lead in the first 20 minutes. United coming back to win. And 46 games done. League 1. We are the champions. 120 points. That is impressive. The FA Cup going to West Ham. Beating Spurs in the final at Wembley. United winning the Carabao Cup. Beating Fulham at Wembley. 3-2. Ellington hard pressure has been gone down a bit. And of course we won the Papa Jones trophy as well. Into season number two, Expert Khan ready to rumble again. And looking at the Youth Academy, I think I've got some players that I can promote to the senior team. And also searching for some players on a cheap to see how I can improve my team with limited funds. And first player I'm going for is Marcus Acuna, 31 million to 35.8 million actually. And Tyler Adams from Bournemouth, 16 million price tag. And we get him in and through the doors at the Etihad. Board expecting us to sign some veterans and sign some youth academies. So I think that'll be easy. And Akanji saying he is not so happy, is he? Yeah, he's feeling fit. But come on, I'm going to give you a new contract anyway. And a big game against Leicester City into championship. I hope this is not the Leicester we are used to seeing. Chance for Foden. Dribbles past the defender. He shoots and it is 1-0. City have taken the lead. The bright youngster is the star of the show tonight. Doku. Ooh, I think he hits his hand. Does it? Yes, penalty. Referee points to the spot. And a chance for City to double the lead. Julian Alvarez. 
He has to score no what to say by the goalkeeper. And Guardiol, Kovacic actually. Grealish, Foden. Oh, great block out for a corner. Chance for Grealish. Cuts back. Shoots. Great save by the goalkeeper, Iverson. Expert Khan, not really happy by the City performance, especially the finishing. But another game against Manchester United, a replay of the last season's FA Cup. And guess who's playing for United up top? Ah, uh, you have guessed it. Number 9, Haaland. The guy scores four many goals for City. He has to score for United. Grealish. He's got a lot of pace and space. Crosses in. Alvarez beats Onana and United are a goal down already. And Smalling has hurt himself in the process. But Alvarez is not going to care. 1-0 to Manchester City. Easy as you like. Great dribbling by Alvarez. He's one on one with the goalkeeper. Oh, what a dummy that was. Sending the defender the wrong way. And beats Onana 2-0. And it is surely City going through this time. And 2-0 victory. Alvarez with a brace. City going into round five of the FA Cup and also beating Liverpool on the way. So that is round six on the cards. 2-0 away from home, Foden and Akanji with the goals for City. And season ended, guys, in the Championship. We are the winners again, beating Leicester. And also in the FA Cup, chance for City to do double, double. And this time we're playing Brentford in the final. And into the closing stages, City looking to hang on to it. Very last attack for Brentford. And they do clear. And the full-time whistle blows. City have got the double in the Championship. And a chance to get into Europa League is finalised here. They are getting into European football with Expert Khan for the first time in the history. Especially Expert Khan coming back stronger, putting City on the map again after being sent down to League One. So now season number three. Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Please sub to my channel and subscribe. And 246 million to spend in season number three. Of course, we are in the Premier League, so attracting some good players. Hoiberg, 40 million. And also signing some players from a lower league to save some money. But we got Cobell in net this season. 65.3 million from Dortmund. And looking at the team, it looks impressive. And 3-2 victory over Arsenal in the Community Shield to start things off in the Premier League. And a big win at Brighton. Foden with a late goal for City in Europa League. We are against Celtic. Young boys and Dynamo Zagreb. I'm fancying my chances here. And first game it is at Everton at uh, home. And actually not the first game. I already played Brighton. But here's Daku. Oh, is he going to score? He does. He's 1-0 to Manchester City. And half an hour on the clock. And it looks like City are really going to dominate the Premier League like they've done in the Championship and League One with Expert Khan over the last two seasons. Doku with the goal for City. Here's Foden. Alvarez. Oh, what a finish. Beautiful goal for Manchester City. Top bin stuff from the Argentine World Cup winner and a 3 0 comprehensive victory. Foden adding another in the second half. And 16 games into the season, we are two points behind Arsenal. We can surely catch them if we were to do it in IRL stuff. And bottom of the league, Brighton, Burnley, and Leicester City. And of course, we won the Community Shield early this season. And in the round three of the FA Cup, playing Reading, Carabao Cup, we are in quarterfinals against Liverpool. And Europa League, we topped the group with 13 points, 4 wins. And up next is a big one. Looking at the scenes, guys, it is actually a big one. A game to decide the champions of the Premier League. A title decider, potentially, I can say. Chance for Saka. What's a say by the goalkeeper? A referee points to the spot. He points to the spot and a chance for Arsenal. Bukayo Saka. Oh, great save by the goalkeeper. Doku do should clear. Alvarez. Oh, Doku scores for City. One end to the other. In the blink of an eye, City have taken the lead. And here's Jeremy Doku. Not with his first goal of the season, I bet you that. Oh, Arsenal missing chances after chances. And City going into half-time. 1-0 up. 
Chance for Alvarez, rounds the goalkeeper, puts it past the goalkeeper and 2-0 to Manchester City. Three points coming to the Etihad for sure. 2-0, three points, that is impressive. And I hope we've leapfrogged Arsenal in the top table. And 4-1 victory over Salzburg in the knockout stages, meaning we are one step into the quarterfinals. And playing Manchester, well actually playing AC Milan. I hope this is not... But 2 0, Rafael Liao scoring a late goal, and AC Milan are in pole position of going through now. And the home game of 4 1 defeated an aggregate out of Europa League. Season ended, guys. We finished third and lost by three points to our Spurs winning the title. And City won the Community Shield. Carabao FA Cup going to Forest. Was beating Arsenal 6 5 on penalties. And Carabao going to West Ham. Oh, Bolton in the final. That is good. Liverpool winning the Champions League, beating PSG by a goal to nil. And season number four for Manchester City and Expert Khan. I hope this is good ones. 260 million suspend. And this team needs no introduction where to improve the team. Surely right back position. But looking at the board expectations, expectations they want us to sign some youth academy product. And looking at the youth, I am impressed by City's youth academy. They are brilliant. And in the Champions League, Monaco, Shakhtar Donetsk and Fenerbahce in the Champions League group stages. First game, it is against Monaco. And I think I have to win my games if I want to make sure I go top of the table. And the chance for Kovacic. Oh, he's scored. Is it Kovacic? No, Doku scored. I thought it was Kovacic, but City have taken the lead. 1-0. At the Etihad, chance for Monaco, what a save by the goalkeeper, and what's he done, he's not cleared it, oh he's not cleared it, and Monaco have equalised at the stroke of half time, oh that is so bad form, City at the back, puts it in the mix, Foden, Alvarez, Foden again, should score, yes, City have retaken the lead, 2-1, on the hour mark. And 2-2, Douglas Luiz, the former Maston Villaman, scoring late equaliser. And 17 games into the season, almost at the half point weight points. And we are not in the European spots at the moment. And now playing Manchester United, who are currently joint top of, of the Premier League. And hoping if he can get three points. Oh, Haaland, what is he doing? Grealish hoping to get the Premier League over and done with this season. Chance for Doku. He dinks one in. No, he does now. And Alvarez has given City an early lead 10 minutes into the game. And it's Manchester City 1. Manchester United 0. And a chance in the second half. With Foden took and made it 2-0 to United. Three points coming. So six, three points coming to Manchester City. Phil Foden with the second goal. City comprehensive tonight. And surely Eric Ten Hag had no chance. And in the FA Cup, we beat Barnsley in round three, proceeding to round four. And Champions League knockout stages, we are up against Leipzig. And the 2-1 defeat away to Germany. And Leipzig has done the job over City. And in the FA Cup, we are in round five, playing Newcastle away from home. And second leg of uh, the Champions League. Last 16 match, we surely have to win in order to make it to the quarters. Greenish, Heiberg. Alvarez, is he going to score an early goal again? He pulls one in and Doku! 1-0 to City. An early goal is what expert Khan was calling for prior to the game. And it's the Belgian Jeremy Doku with the goal. Here's Doku again, the goal scorer. 2-2 two -two on aggregate. Is he going to make it count? Yes, Alvarez has scored and City a 3-2 up on aggregate. And 2-0 on the right is the World Cup winner, Julian Alvarez, with the goal for Manchester City. Is Doc, who again, he's been dangerous throughout the game and great defending, but Nunes makes it three for City. Leipzig are out of the game. Not even half-time here. 3-0 to City, 4-2 to an aggregate. And a massive victory, that is, for Manchester City, making it to the quarterfinals of the Champions League first season in. And a 1-0 victory over Arsenal in the FA Cup, round 3, round 4 actually. And Daku with an early goal, he's on fire at the moment. And also beating PSG 2-0 in the semi-final. 
And that is one step in the Champions League final for sure. And a 2-1 defeat. Oh, 3-2 victory over PSG on aggregate. 2-1 defeat on the night. Season ended and we finished fifth. That is poor. And then also in the FA Cup against Leeds. Also in the Champions League final against Real Madrid. This would be interesting. A two ch chance to win the double. And they came up Wembley. Leeds United fired up. But is Manchester City going to be unstoppable tonight? They have been in the cup runs, not in the Premier League so far. They've lost it 20 points, the cup. That is so bad for City. Chance for Kovacic. He's going to score an early goal. Yes, he does. The Croatian international makes it 1 0 to Manchester City in just a quarter of another. And it is the captain. He is the bird in the captain arms band this season. And City 1 0 up. Is Foden into the second half. Oh, he dinks it in. Oh, I thought he was going to hit the post, but Foden makes it 2 0 to City. Looks like City are winning the FA Cup once again. Phil Foden with the goal in the final. What a player. His market value is definitely going to increase after this. Just, oh, Pender, what's he doing for the Leeds? Oh, keeper does come out, but Pender with a pace and he scores. It leads United right back into the game. And it's Alvarez, turns his man, oh, finishes it like Aguero, what a finish that is. If I, if you don't know Aguero's goal against Swansea City on his debut, surely go and watch it, guys, similar to this. And they're both Argentinian, by the way. And that is the FA Cup to Manchester City, 3-1 victory at the full time. And Wembley is rocking the Sea of Blue. And the FA Cup is going to be lifted by Kovacic. He's going to have to wait for another trophy in the coming couple of days. As they are going to be playing in Real Madrid. But for now, City are the champions of the FA Cup. Going to Madrid. A massive game in Germany. Glenson Kirk in the stadium of Schalke. I believe they're playing there today. And look like City are slightly the favourites to win here. Grealish up against Sven Botman. Alvarez into the mix. Goes past Alaba. Pulls it back. Hoiberg with the goal. An early goal for Manchester City against Real Madrid. And it is the former Spurs man. Scores in the final. 1-0 to Manchester City. They worked too well. Early goal for City. He's Foden. He's got a lot of pace. They have to make it count. Oh, Madrid's going to bite. Late again, like they did in IRL. Courtois saves, blocks the cross. Here's Valverde. Last 10 minutes. Ferguson. Ooh, what's up? I thought that was in. Ancelotti praying. But obviously, they're not going to be down and outs. But no, Rodrigo. He's got men. Oh, oh come on. Referee points to the spot. What is this? Madrid having the penalty in the last minute, Rodrigo, and it is 1-1, City have given it away, come on, referee, what was that, that is a soft foul, probably not even a foul, and Madrid have caught the noses back into the game, in the Champions League final, Akanji, into the extra time, Foden, Alvarez, Jumi's a defender, shoots, into the far corner, yes, and it is 2-1 to City again. They've turned it around. Well, actually, not turned it around. They've turned the fortune around, I should say. 2-1 to Manchester City. I hope they don't concede another penalty. It is a final to remember for City. And full-time whistle is blown. What scenes it is at Glensenkirchen in Germany. City made it count when it mattered the most. Pep Guardiola in the stands watching. And City are on the verge of lifting the second Champions League trophy in their rich history, at least for the last 10 seasons. And Nunes is going to lift it, a former Wolverhampton man. And they are the champions of Europe from League One all the way to the Premier League and now the Champions League winners. And guys, if you like the video, subscribe to my channel and write in the comment area which team I should be doing next. And I'll surely do it. It may some, take some time. But guys, be patient and continue loving my channel. Thanks for watching, guys.